I studied Dr. Lipstock for many years before I used him. Uh, followed him all the way from Norfolk to Richmond, and I felt very comfortable when I made my decision to have Lasix. I knew that the man had been in practice long enough that this is the way we wanted to go. Was not afraid and went with it. I started wearing glasses when I was nine years old, and being a redhead, left-handed preacher's kid, um, got in a lot of situations where being gla wearing glasses was not conducive to having a fun life. But I persisted, and when I reached about 19, I started wearing contacts. I wore contacts until I was around 35 to 40, and I switched to mono contacts so that I could see long distance and up close at the same time. So before I had Lasix, I knew that I was ready to do mono vision. My background, I worked for the government for several years before going into real estate and running a Century 21 Turret Realty uh, firm for my father-in-law for 10 years. And then um, my family and I moved to Richmond, Virginia, and opened up a construction company doing concrete. Working in the field and wearing a hard hat now poses another problem with glasses, other than safety glasses. So I just realized when I looked at my whole life, my lifestyle, what I was doing, how many hours I was working a day, and I knew that Lasix was good for other people that it, I had talked to, I knew it was good for me. When I started coming to Dr. Lipsack's office, uh, we went through a myriad of tests, and having been tested many times, I was cognizant of these were good tests, what they were looking for was good, I knew what they were researching for and all of their graphs and charts that they were doing were perfect for what I, I could relax and say, okay, this is good. So coming into the time when you're going to go into surgery, of course they give you something to calm you down, which we all need when we're going into surgery, was not afraid. I did everything that he, they said to do. I don't even think my heart was racing, but I was waiting for that moment when he said, sit up and tell me what time it is on the wall. And that was like being reborn. You sit up in the chair and you can read the clock and you haven't read the clock for, you know, 25 years across the room and you just know, you just know you've done the right thing. We set up a target range on our property. We own 30 acres in Caroline County, so we have the space to do it. We, and we pour concrete walls, so we built concrete enclosed wall area to shoot. So when you do that with monovision, you have to tell your brain, look with the eye that has the distance. You cannot see it with the eye that's going to see up close. And it has taken some training for me to learn to look with the one eye to see the target and hit with accuracy. And I've been told on several occasions that um, maybe somebody wouldn't want to mess with me. So I think I've hit the target pretty much on, right on. So if I summed up the whole procedure, I would say it was awesome. I would do it again. In fact, if, if and when, Dr. Lipsock and I have discussed, when I'm 65, I really might need reading glasses, we will discuss again tweaking the procedure, which I do not have any qualms about because I've come this far with no problems at all.